to your safaris. My name's Jackie and Please. I'm the lodge manager. Pleased to meet you, Jackie. Let me take you to your room. Thank you. chalets. These eight on this side are for our couples and they were built a little bit after the other ones and we do the bachelor groups in the eight on. Them. And this Willem is your room. Oh Jackie, you thank you. Wonderful view and I'm sure that you might see some waterbuck and yala. They like to come and eat from these bushes and it's nice and quiet for them and I will arrange to have your luggage brought to you now from the car. Thank you very much okay. indeed. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah, it's beautiful. Furnishings lovely. Oh, and you've got a gun safe over there where you can lock your gun while you're not using it. I'm going to look at this beautiful view. I've just cleaned my rifle and the rifle that we are going to use for this hunt is a Remington, the model 783. It is fitted with a red field scope and it is a 4 to 12 by 40 millimeter scope made by Leopold and fully guaranteed. The Remington has been fitted with a barrel which was manufactured according to the button pull method. And this method has proved over decades to be one of the most accurate methods of manufacturing barrels for rifles. The striking new stock design is home to a true performance enhancer. With a dual pillar bedding platform that free floats the barrel for unmatched shot to shot consistency. For shot control this rifle is fitted with a crisp and new crossfire trigger system that is adjustable to suit your preferences. The Remington model 783 has a detachable steel magazine with a steel clip and the standard magazines hold four rounds and the Magnum magazines three rounds. The Remington 783 is also fitted with a very soft uh, recoil pad which makes it very easy on your shoulder. Then also a very nice pistol grip and this wonderful safety feature. For this hunt we are going to use Barnes Vortex premium hunting ammunition. Now Barnes is the leader in bullet design and development and their products deliver constant accuracy, terminal performance and penetration. Remington also manufactures a wide range of accessories like this comprehensive field cleaning kit. But apart from that, with every Remington rifle that you buy, you get an accuracy card attached to it. But let us test it for ourselves. First let's set the scope for my eyes, zoom it in to 12, okay now we're ready, let's shoot.
Yeah, that was great grouping. Very happy. Using the Remington 783 model and the 150 grain Barnes Vortex ammunition. Now I'm ready to take on the valleys and mountains of Birchels. Here lies the wide open spaces of Birchell's hunting farm. Birchell's lodge just around the corner or if you like around the next mountain. It is here that we will hunt and here you find herds and herds of blue wallabies roaming freely, black wallabies, thousands of impala and many others but to name a few. And then also very important there are buffalo and even lechera. But this is where we will hunt and I'm looking so forward to it. By the way, we met up with the very well-known international hunter Craig Boddington. Listen to what he says about this beautiful place. We're here at uh, Barry Birchell's Frontier Safaris. Uh, I'm very fortunate. I've been here several times. This is not only a beautiful piece of country, but it's, it's a big piece of country. And it's big enough that it has everything from... from uh, some grassy plains and brushy valleys and tall open mountains and because of that it's able to sustain just a tremendous variety of of game and just almost anything you might find in the eastern cape you can find right here it's a it's a very very big place it's uh, uh, been well stocked for many years and so the trophy quality is fine and <laughs> the hunting ranges from Difficult to very easy, depends on your luck, but it's a wonderful place. You guys are using uh, Remington rifles with, with Redfield optics, and I have a long, long history with both. You know, because of my left handed affliction, Remington's long been the, the best supplier to we of the downtrodden left handed minority. So I've used Remington's most of my life and probably more than anything else. It's a great piece of equipment, and I'll never forget uh, the first variable scope that I ever had was a, was a Redfield. Of course, that was a, a long time ago. And the first time I ever used it was on my first safari in Kenya. I tell you, it opened my eyes, the, the ability to zoom up. Before that, we all used just fixed 4X, which was very standard when I was a kid. And we didn't really trust variables. But by the 70s, they'd gotten reliable. And the first ones I ever had were, were Redfield. Of course, today Redfield has changed a lot. It's it's now uh, owned by Leupold, and uh, so is a, a different product line under the under the Leupold umbrella. But it's still a a great scope, and uh, you guys are are well armed, and you're in a good place, and we're going to have a great safari. Earlier this afternoon, I arrived at this beautiful and spectacular hunting farm. It's called Birchell's Lodge, near the small town of Alisdale in the Eastern Cape. And with its beautiful valleys and mountains, it makes it a wonderful hunting experience that lies ahead of us. Now, tomorrow we will try and shoot a blue wildebeest as well as a blessed buck. And we're going to use a Remington 783 in the 3006 caliber. Well, it's almost dinner time. And I'll see you later, and that is tomorrow when we go out and see this beautiful place and hunt our game.
coming towards us, so let's go this way. Darn, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Is it lying up front here? Just down other side of the bush. Okay. Congratulations, brother. Hey. Very nice boot. Thanks, man. Well done. Great color, eh? Oh, very nice colors. Got a nice color too. Very nice. Yeah, here's the hole, eh? Straight through the neck, that's why it went down so quickly. Okay? Yeah, very good shot. Yeah. Now he went straight down. The Birchall family has a long and colourful history here in South Africa. The first member of the family to come to South Africa was Dr. William John Birchall way back in 1810 and he spent four years here. And during that time he found and then described a number of species. In the painting behind me you can see the rhino, the Birchall zebra, the blue wildebeest and also wild dogs. But not only did William John Birchall do that, he was also an artist and he made beautiful drawings and paintings of what he found here in South Africa. The farm belongs to Barry Birchall, who is a seventh generation descendant from William John Birchall. And Barry developed this farm into a prime hunting spot for international hunters as well as local hunters here in South Africa. We're here with the two carcasses. This is the blue wildebeest carcass and the blessed buck carcass. Now, first of all, the blue wildebeest, you can see here that the bullet went into the neck and it went straight through. We couldn't find the bullet. In the case of the blessed buck, it was shot from this end, just above the shoulder. It went right through and then hit the other shoulder on the other side, the opposite side. Now, in both cases, you can see that they are very good penetration and very little meat damage. The Barnes Vortex ammunition once again did an excellent job. Birchall's also has its own taxidermy facility. Here behind me is the salting pit where skins are being salted for a couple of days. From here it gets transported to the taxidermy facility in the town of Allisdale where the trophies are being prepared and from there transported to most parts of the world. The vastness of the Birchall's Lodge hunting area. And we've come to the end of our hunt. It's time to say goodbye to this beautiful place. We've got our blue wildebeest, we've got our blessed buck, we met some good people and we had a very good time. Thanks also to those who made this trip possible. That's Remington, Barnes, Vortex, Ammunition, and of course, Birchall's Lodge. It was a great experience. Oh, and by the way, watch out for our next episode. <laughs>